Really, Dice? Really? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Culprit here. And I wanted to bring you a little bit of a reaction reactionary video. I had no plans to do this. I, I really didn't. And, um... Dice went ahead and delighted us again. <laughs> I, if I don't laugh, I'm gonna cry. Uh, so, you know, this morning I'm at work and I, you know, I, uh... I jump on Twitter and I see the link for the, oh, the new August content drop or flop has been announced. And, and so I click it. And, and the reason I did is, honestly, I, I pay no attention to this stuff. I, I truly don't. Um, I don't. I'm not one that goes for camos or, or anything like that. Hey, if it's there, I use it and it could be cool. But, you know, I personally bought premium for the DLCs. That's it. I don't pay attention to this stuff. And the only reason that it was on my radar was that the other day my buddy Captain Obvious tweeted out to Dice, hey, do you guys know when the August content drop is coming up? It's the it's coming up on the last week of August. And I thought that was kind of funny. That it hadn't been released yet. So, But I replied back to him, you know, just kind of ribbing him a little bit. You know, do you really care about this stuff? Do you really need a fourth skin for your Scar H? You know, because we go back and forth. And, and that's why it was on my radar. And, and the thing is, today they come out and I said, yeah, let me see what it is. You know, because I, I was ready to laugh my ass off if it was if it was the same camos for the same guns again, which is a complete just embarrassment on its own. Um, and then I saw what it was, and I just sat there and I was like, "This has got to be a troll. This has got to be them." I mean, it's not April first, but they've got to be kidding with this. They they have to be kidding with this. And I kept scrolling down, waiting to see. No, all right, only kidding. <laughs> no, no, but they didn't do that. And this is this is legit, guys. And I'm just gonna bring it up here because I don't. Uh, God forbid I misspoke on this great package here. So, all right, well, you all know what you're getting. I mean, I'm sure you just can. You're on the edge of your seats. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Now I've said before that you know Dice sits there and they've kicked us in the nuts with X patch or this announcement or whatever, and they flipped us the bird with another thing and. I was pretty upset with the whole battle, Medal of Honor Warfighter getting the early Battlefield 4 beta when I felt clearly that premium users should get at the earliest Battlefield beta access. If it's a beta and you want the most qualified players to test your game, but you know we all know it's not a beta, it's a, it's a demo. And they consider, it's obvious now, they consider the premium uh, users zombies basically and we're just going to buy everything they put out regardless so they don't have to even show us the least amount of decency. Um, and uh, and that's what it is. I mean, they they feel like they can piss all over us, frankly, and we're gonna buy everything anyway. We're lemmings, is is what it comes down to. And I want to argue against it, but only time will tell. Uh, it, it's just it's disgraceful. And I mean, you get in a video of Armored Kill on the 29th. What is that? A couple of days before it, it launches for PS3, uh, and you're getting a. Uh, artwork booklet of 24 24 is a lot of images guys it's a lot of images <laughs> and, and if anybody you know this is you know, these are supposed to be exclusive exclusive armored kill gameplay exclusive artwork booklet really you don't think within 33 seconds that video is going to be on youtube and that artwork booklet is going to be available to download on google images you're out of your goddamn mind it's 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 unbelievable and then you're going to go on to then solicit us and give us the, you know, the, the, the privilege of suggesting Battlefield maps to you and giving you ideas and concepts because you've done so well at listening to the community. You know, I'm really loving playing with that battle recorder and it's such a nice feature that I can, when I just want to play by myself, I can go on battle log and hit privacy and visible mode and, and I can be left alone and not be knifed in the back. And, you know, you know what's a really cool feature lately, Dice, is that when I'm playing by myself and I run into a squad of randoms, that I can communicate with them in-game. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's so cool. And I'm so glad you listened to us on that. And so quickly, too, because that it's not like that's been suggested since beta. No. No, not at all. But, hey, did you look? Armored Kill has night maps. Sweet. Did you listen to the community there. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Great job. Great job. But how about that artwork? I mean, 24 images is pretty quality, you know? I mean, I mean, not everybody else is doing stuff like that. Oh, and don't forget, if you share this and add on Facebook for every 5,000 shares, we get an extra 72 hours of double XP, guys. Isn't that fantastic? That's, I mean, what more do you want? You know, money well spent. Take more money. Take more money. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm really kind of at a loss for words. I'm just, I'm not mad. I'm flabbergasted, and I know that's a weird word, but right now I think that's the best way I can describe it. I mean, the guy who saw I, I thought tweeted it the best, and his, his I, I believe it was Fake Thriller of Shusty Bang. 
and if you guys don't watch them, check them out. I'll put a link in the description. They do really awesome gun reviews. Cool guys. Uh, he, I'm paraphrasing. He basically said, I, I think I know what happened here. And he said, you know, they, they hit the last week of August, and they totally forgot about the content drop. So then they panicked and ran around and just tried to find something to give away. And it's a really funny visual, and I, I honestly can totally see it happening. You know, they sit down for their Monday board, you know, group meeting, whatever you want to call it. And some guy goes, hey, hey, boss, you know, it's it's August, and we haven't done the August content drop, and we're coming up the last week of August. And the guy's like, oh, shoot, what are we going to do, guys? Look around, find something. And, and you can see the guys, like one guy's looking in the coffee machine, the other guy's looking behind paintings, and then finally one guy digs into the couch and is like, I've got it! I've got a staple pamphlet of concept art from six months ago. And that guy's like, awesome, we'll give them this, and they will love it. Anybody else got a better suggestion? I, how does this work? I don't know. And does spice it up? We'll let them submit map ideas. Wow. Wow. And what I I get a kick out of and what I would I mean I would I would buy premium again if I could see this. If they if they put up a webcam, I'd pay another forty dollars to watch it when they go, hey Zinto, come here. Oh, demise? Yeah, yeah, you too. Gustav Howling, come here. And then you got the marketing geniuses over at EA and the big wigs at Dice. They sit them down and go, hey guys, we're really excited to tell you about this content drop. We think they are gonna love it. I mean, what did Zinto do? What did, I mean, he must have just gone, <clears throat> really? I have to go to these people with this? These people are ready to hang me now. I, I mean, I'm not gonna give him a pass on everything. He deserves some of the grief he gets. And, and part of the job of being a CM is obviously swallowing crap but this is i mean they must compensate that man an incredible amount for him to put up with this because i mean obviously it's part of the job to take it from the community and, and idiots like me who get all frothy at the mouth at the slightest things but i mean his company leaves them out to dry all the time i mean how they must have walked out of that meeting i mean i'm i'm who knows what goes on there i'm just assuming in this make-believe meeting that they must have just been like are, are, you, are you i mean I'd love for one of them to leave the company and come out and just tell us what they really think. I'm dying to know. Because they must think, they must be embarrassed. They have to, how would you not be embarrassed by this? Yeah, guys, we've sold, was 15 million copies of Battlefield now? Another 1.3 million of uh, Battlefield Premium? Ton of other crap. Made, would billion be a crazy number now? I mean, what are hundreds of millions of dollars? And for your content drop, we're going to give you a downloadable artwork booklet. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's amazing. And it's just, it's such a little, I mean, they're, so, they're making such a big deal out of a little thing. And it's, to me, it's not about the, it's, to me, it's just about how you treat your customers. If I did this in my business world, I'd either be fired or we'd have no customers. I mean, if 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 one of my customers is paying a ton of money and they're paying a premium over what all my other average customers are paying, guess what? They're my favorite customers. And they get really fast service. And they get listened to. Nowadays. Or EA. I mean, it just it's just not true. It, I don't know. It's it's just it's amazing. I, I would have just loved to have seen Zinto that night. You know, he leaves work. I don't know, is he married? Maybe he goes home to his girlfriend or wife and goes, y you're never going to believe this. I have, I literally have to look at these people with a straight face and, and, <laughs> yeah. It, it must have been great. I mean, I wish he had a pseudonym and he wrote a blog because I would love to read it. There you go. If you do that, let me know. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, I just, I could go on and on and on about this. I'm not going to. It's just, there's just such a disconnect. And, and here's my thing. Now, this, like I said, this is them just laughing at us. This is them just pointing their finger at us with big sacks of money over their shoulder and going, ha, <laughs> morons. And I am. I fully deserve that. We all do. I don't feel like it's money misspent. I've had a tremendous time in Battlefield 3, and I, I will continue to. And that's really the thing, is that they're, they're, they're taking this experience I had and this love affair I had with this game, and they're turning it, and they're spoiling it, and they're poisoning it. And laugh at me all you want because I've spent hundreds of dollars on your game. Let's see. PS3, Xbox, PC. Had to buy B2K on PC because I was too late to buy the limited edition. 
So that's 200 bucks there. Another 40-ish on premium. I'm up to 250 on on Battlefield 3, not counting the PC I built, not counting the the, the private servers we've had. Too much. I mean, but at the same time, I don't regret any of it. And it's easily my favorite shooter. I love the game. I'm not gonna front. And I get upset because it's it's missed potential. And I I I love the game. And I and I'm gonna look back on my time in the game as incredible because I built this channel. I've met a lot of amazing people. And they're just gonna make it this memory of negativity. And here's the the warning I have, whether I'm wishful thinking or not. Be careful, dice, because you 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 may have got all the money you can get out of Battlefield Three. You've dug deep into our pockets, you've gotten it all, and you're looking at me, you're, right now you're realizing you can't make any more money off Battlefield 3 because you've, you've, you've thrown this premium out that's supposedly all-encompassing. So you, you're done. The, the, the revenue stream out of Battlefield 3 is pretty much dried up. So you can laugh all you want. But what you're doing is you're ruining your revenue streams, or you're tainting your revenue streams with Battlefield 4 because what happens is, we all know, Battlefield 4 is going to come out. And before we can even realize if we like it or not, Two weeks later, it's going to be like, here's Battlefield 4 Premium. And we're all going to go, whoa, whoa. No. You sold us a sack of crap once. I'm not going to just dive in and buy it again. And, and yes, there's going to be guys like me that are still going to buy it. But I might just, you know, stop for a second and think about it. And, you know, but there's going to be a lot of people that are like, no. You know, I bought it last time. I got nothing for it. Maybe I liked one or two of the DLCs. The, 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 the artwork pack was not that great. <laughs> and, you, you know, you keep ruining this relationship with your customers. It will come back to get you. It always does. We see the same things going on with Call of Duty. They're a little more of an advanced stage. Honeymoon's over, Dice. You're really embarrassing yourselves. You're disgracing yourselves. You're alienating the community. You're alienating your, your most passionate, loyal player base. And do that at your own risks. I mean, I'm not trying to be a Suzay or anything. I'm not threatening anybody. I am I am your core customer. Me. I'm not talking about... I'm not representing anybody else. I am the guy you have wet dreams about. I buy everything you send out. I play the hell out of your game. I tell you to make more content I would buy. You make a map pack every week, I'll buy it. I would. Because I'm crazy. I'm an idiot. And I'm telling you right now, my feelings today are incredibly different than they were the day before beta. You know, and it's all about you. It's not necessarily about the game. I expect bugs in the game. I expect hits and misses. I expect balancing and, and, and some grief in the game. That's part of what I sign on for. I pretty much understand that I'm playing mostly betas these days. Um, that's not what a, the long-standing grief is going to be. It's going to be about your attitude and how you treat your customers and how you have this utter, it's almost disdain. It's like you want to troll us. It's like you said, guys, all right, we got a tall task in front of us. We have, you know, we've done a really consistent job of lowering the bar and disappointing our fans. So let's all brainstorm together and figure out how can we disappoint them this time. It, it, it takes effort to be this bad. It takes effort to miss a target this far. Wake up, and, and I hope there's new blood on the development team and, and, and the higher-ups, whatever, whoever's making decisions. I hope there's a little bit of new blood for Battlefield 4, so I don't expect a huge culture change, but little by little, please. It's, it's embarrassing, and it's disgraceful. So I'm going to leave it there. I've already ranted too much. If you watched all the way, you must have been incredibly bored. Um, I, like always, guys, I'd love to hear what you think. I mean, do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm a lunatic? Mountain out of a molehill. I know I'm already doing that. Um, but I'm upset, and I like to use this as an outlet. I, I'm sure some of you are upset, too. You might like seeing it. So let me know what you think, guys. I'd love to hear it. Like always, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, my brain is just fired up. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.